I say, how can I say this? You can't believe how advanced we are as an independent ticket. Independent scares the bejesus out of the powers that be. Independent means that they don't have any power over you. They can't instill party partisanship. We are absolutely unaffiliated with anybody. All we want to do is what's right for the people. And if we can set that template, if we can show it can be done, there's going to be a popular uprising. There's going to be, we will be defeating money that's 10 times, 20 times what we have. But if your vote's not for sale, it doesn't make any difference how much money the <laughs> other true. side spends. That's true. And the word is out. The buzz is us. The state employees, 38,000 people, they hate, they hate the present governor. And they're all for us. The, 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 the head of the union has already come to us and say, hey, we're out there working for you right now. You know, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, we came out against mountaintop removal. that may extremely uh, ecologically uh, uh, destructive way of extracting coal. We came out against it. We're the only candidates against it. I've got the only one running mate who's a woman. She's the only woman in the race. There's 350,000 more women vote in that race than men do. I only need 450,000 votes to win this thing. You know? So we got the, we got the, the, the environmentalists. We had the military. I'm, I've got an honorable discharge from Marine Corps. And I'll tell you, this present governor, the, uh, who's going to have the Democratic nomination because he's an incumbent, the other day, he, uh, he did not go to a gathering at Fort Campbell where President Obama came down to honor the Navy SEALs who took out Osama. Our governor refused to go down with him because he didn't want to have his picture taken with Obama. He said he had, some, he had to be talking with some other business leaders in the state at that time, so he couldn't afford to change his schedule. And so I thought that was an affront to every military person in the whole damn state, that he was too cowardly. He didn't want his picture taken with Obama because Obama was roundly defeated in Kentucky. But there comes times when you've got to set aside that kind of partisanship and exercise some common sense and pay homage to brave people like those Navy SEALs mm -hmm. who went in there and did something that I'm sure a lot of us would like to have seen done. And so uh, he's roundly, roundly, uh, roundly dis dis disgusted a lot of people. So he is ready for a big downfall. And the Republican is uh, just, he's not, he's not going to make it. The Republican is toast already. So we have an extremely weak field that we're running against. And so we ought to win this thing, is we can just put up a modicum of re credibility and responsibility. So, uh, you know, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of like the NBA Finals. Your team might not be in the Finals, and they may be as a half a continent away, but, you know, take, pay attention to them box scores there in Kentucky. Cause they're going to be fun to keep up with. We're going to get a lot of uh, national and international attention. <coughs> So Gatewood, yes, we've got time for one more little uh, stump speech here. <laughs> Let's show them your book and your website and tell them how they can get in touch with you. Folks, this book right here is called The Last Free Man in America Meets a Synthetic Subversion. It was the number one seller at a major market for 11 straight weeks. And an ex-governor says it's the best statement of freedom in America he's ever read. This is a fun book, folks. I left out 100% of the sex and 80% of the drugs, but it's still a kick-ass read. So um, the, uh, you can go to uh, gatewood.com to get our, political, uh, get our political site. At that same spot, you can find out how to get in touch with us and request a book, and I'd be glad to send you one. I'd appreciate a donation in return, but after I send you one, I'll be an envelope with it. Send me some money if you like the book. But. Uh, it's gatewood.com that people all over the world can contribute to us, folks. We have gotten contributions uh, from out of the country thus far. If you're a big dog, I mean, if you're a big dog, come on. Jesus Christ, what was it going to take to get you guys out here to get this thing done? You know, I know people who, uh, who are helping out uh, the Marijuana Policy Project, I think, as, as a couple of big donors uh, 
yeah. of an Peter insurance. Lewis, of course. Yeah, uh, a big insurance company. He uh, says he's going to put an initiative for medical marijuana on the Ohio ballot. He just came out the past few weeks and said that. Look, you couldn't put your money in any more honorable place than to try to get marijuana as a medicine in the hands of the sick and dying people of the United States of America. You, just with that money, you could buy relief from people who right now are suffering from chronic pain. From people who suffer all day from chronic pain, you could bring immediate relief to those people with the proper application and direction of, of really a very small amount of money. So uh, gatewood.com, get in touch with me. I'm going to show you how to bring relief to, to hundreds of thousands of people and relief to your own soul because you, you, you'll feel a lot better about yourself after you get this done. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I want to thank you for coming to, uh, to thank Portland. You. Thank you. And let's uh, have the honor of your presence.